It's become one of the hottest spots in Detroit. Inside Detroit Segway Tours, where we find out about all the other hot spots. Inside Detroit Tours was a career path Jeanette Pierce stumbled upon while still in college. Tired of people criticizing her hometown, she decided to start her own business with a friend, offering tours in Detroit. Today, her most popular tours are on Segway. It's a great way to see the city because you have... Um, you can go cover a lot of distance, but also stay up close and personal and see everything and all the details. Inside Detroit offers Segway bus and walking tours. On this particular afternoon in Detroit, we took a tour on foot. We headed down to Campus Martius and the Point of Origin. Well, where we're standing right here, there's a point of origin for the entire city of Detroit. Have you ever wondered where 8 Mile Road is 8 miles from? The answer is this glass circle. Yeah, and it's actually a very historical point as well because this is when we were talking about the fire of 1805. It was then that Judge Woodward laid out the plan for Detroit, like spokes of a wheel or like a hand, with Woodward being the main spoke and Gratiot and Michigan and then all the mile roads go, um, like 8 Mile Road is 8 miles due north of this spot right here. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I didn't know. Jeanette has given tours to people from across the state, country, and globe and has had many memorable moments. The one that really kind of hit home for me was when we did um, a tour for a group of students from the University of Michigan. And after we were finished with the tour, one of the young ladies came up to me and she said, you know, it never even occurred to me to stay in Michigan after I graduated. But now I think I want to live in Detroit. And that kind of moment um, is what we live for. And when we weren't getting paid sometimes, uh, that was kind of what made us feel good that we were at least doing the right thing and that it was worth it. Jeanette says that she gets all kinds of questions about Detroit, like are there grocery stores? Is Detroit safe? As someone who lived in Detroit her entire life and in the downtown area for seven years, she knows that there are many myths about Detroit that she works to dispel every day. Her tours are not only entertaining and informative, but they are great ways to get a history lesson about our great city. For the 1800s, it was military training ground. That's what Campus Marshes actually means. In Latin, it means military training and so this statue right here has actually um, been here since 1872. And it's a monument to veterans of the Civil War. We sent 90,000 Michigan troops to fight the Civil War. We lost over 14,000 of them. But if you think about it, when, like today we put people on a plane and send them, but they actually marched south, 90,000 troops to fight in the Civil War. It's the very first skyscraper in the entire city of Detroit, right here. Do you know what? It was 10 stories high. Only 10. It's no secret Jeanette loves Detroit and she has a couple of favorite buildings. One crown jewel in the Detroit skyline is the Guardian Building and a hot attraction on Jeanette's tour. It was built in the early 1930s. So the Guardian Building is one of the most beautiful buildings in the entire city, and some say in the entire country. It was built in 1929 to be a bank's headquarters, and that's it. But they said, spare no expense, make it a cathedral to finance. So it does look more like a church, really, than a bank, especially on the inside, which we're gonna go in in a few minutes. And each one of these bricks, these orange bricks, was made specifically for this building. Almost two million bricks, colored and dyed that color, that orangish color. And then people liked them so much that everyone said, we want bricks like that, we want bricks like that. And they started mass producing them and they called them Guardian Bricks. It is um, 32 stories um, at one part and then 40 story tower. So 40 stories is part of it, but then there's this big, big ballroom on the 32nd floor that takes up the entire building and you can see all the way around. You guys want to go inside? Yeah. Awesome. Let's go. Jeanette was honored this year with the Neil Shine Dave Bing Future Leader Award. Even if you lived in Detroit your whole life, there's still more information you can get. There's maps, there's food and fun, 
There's lots of stuff to check out here at the Detroit Welcome Center. And if you've never been to Detroit before, then you surely need to come down here and get some information so you can learn about Detroit. I'm Gianni Crawford. I'm Dylan Clark. I'm Michaela Armstead. I'm T. Sarah Parham. For Youth, For youth Neighborhood, Neighborhood News, where, where we bring you the younger side of the news. news.